1v1 judgment of carry and blue side. Light Elder plays a Plague Champion, starts off range, can get melee weapons, good utility and damage, can repair and put up turrets. Stilmovic plays a Force Commander on the red side, offensive melee, quite versatile, can tank, disrupt and even support. Quite a small 1v1 map split up by these huge building type things. VP in the centre, VP on the east side and VP on the west side, none of them natural. Chaos Space Marines on the field for Light Elder, heavy range of retreat, decent in melee, much like these Loyalist Tactical Marines which are a bit more durable and versatile. Force Commander being very annoying and decapping Light Elders very natural wreck point here in the face of the plague bolter he's taking a lot of damage from it but is able to decap is he gonna be outrageously cheeky and cap no he's not he's backing off and we see double scouts from Stumovic very popular opening for space marine players in 1v1 gives you a lot more map control and general mobility light held up on the other hand going for double chaos space marines very solid if a bit one dimensional tier one base could see devastators or assault marines and those double csm would have some trouble heretics in retreat more scouts for stimovic are we going to see snipers 488 500 here comes light elder with some chaos space marines backing him up can he focus down the force commander here Look like he's going to try it. Force Commander does get into melee, but it's forced to retreat. And if he had those guys on melee stance, this would be a dead Force Commander. It might still be a dead Force Commander. You see the damage over time of that Plague Bolt are fantastic versus retreating units. And down goes the Force Commander 481 500. Curse. Space Marines now behind cover. But so what attacks? Plague Champion. Taking a risk with that much health, trying to cap and he backs off. Triple scouts from Stromovic then what is he gonna do? 472 500 a 2 to 1 for Stromovic. Kill Space Marines in a firefight with scouts not what scouts want to be doing really with the bolters and is gonna lose a squad if he's not careful. Obviously had his attention elsewhere and is very lucky only to lose one model light held up deciding not to cap this or decap this instead coming center with the CSM are we gonna see a plague sword mucus discharge plague champion I think does pretty well in tier 1 versus space marines though we are up against triple scouts so its effectiveness not as great as versus double tax or tax and ASM Force Commander has been repurchased by Stumovic. 446493. Now he's going to go and try and harass this power, which is full from Light Elder. Stumovic, in contrast, has a single node up, and that is it. Huge map control for Light Elder. Iron Halo on the Force Commander gives him that shield, you see. CSM trying to stop this power harass these tactical marines have flamers though take out one generator in no time at all Plague Champion gets his bile spewer and takes out a marine with it as well don't see it as often as the Plague Champion's other weapons because his other weapons are so good but it is a really nice Flamer type weapon will make short work of structures and pretty nice versus infantry as well. Billy's discharge also gives him a nice snare. There you see it against the Force Commander who now is a crawl. Might be a really nice choice then to control that Force Commander. Scouts capping west side, they have shotguns. The other scout squads have nothing. 
446 437 Double CSM steel for Lytelda, no sign of Eternal War Just the Biosphere and no upgrades for the Heretics either He's getting some more CSM, triple CSM for Lytelda Heretics in their default melee state, don't really wanna risk taking on shotgun scouts I don't think they have weathered the storm though and are now closing for melee where we see a doom blast to suppress these guys center meanwhile play champion out in the open here the one downside to the battles for you need to get close and out of cover and he's not the toughest commander to start off and he's forced off by those tacks who get away without a loss 443, 427. Triple Chaos Space Marines for Light Elder. Come tier 2, these guys are going to be nasty when they have their marks. Assuming they get some. Scouts again come to cap the west side. Heretics forced off with 5 models. Scouts also decapping this fully matured plus 30 wreck a minute wreck point. Force Commander now coming into melee. Up against triple CSM. Surely he's going to get the Thunderhammer. Forced off there though. And these scouts are being very brave. And get away without a loss. Light held up. Now can shut up the centre of the map. Should be capping this wreck point I think. You see the map control. The flanks looking red. The centre looking blue. CSM capping this. PowerPoint though, where is the Plague Champion? He's coming out of base. Not the quickest guy. Scouts trying to harass power with their bolters will take a while. Might get jumped by heretics as well. 420, 427. VP's very close. Kicking off in the middle again. Force Commander up against CSM in melee. Shotgun Scouts forcing off the other CSM squad and now Stimmerich can cap mid and is going tier 2 first. 413. 427. Play champion is now going to bash power with the spiral spewer. He should have stood here and targeted this generator. Would have hit both of them, I think. Can he take out the node? I don't think he'll be able to. He's going to get harassed and forced off by a lot of stuff here. Here comes CSM trying to finish off that note. Plague Champion will take the building. Not the best idea with tactical flame of marines around. And they force melee trying to finish off that Plague Champion but he does get away. The node was destroyed by the CSM. They're try going to try and be very very cheeky here and decap. Can they do it? Kraken Bolts going off. From the tactical marines and the CSM need to get out there. We're about to lose a model. Some nice map control though by Light Elder. Can they get a triple here? Albeit a very short one. Tier 2 now for Light Elder. Stimovic lost one of his scout squads. Two remaining squads both have shotguns. He's now going for a Razorback. What we're going to see from Light Elder, he needs a way to deal with that Razorback quickly. Shemovic recognizing the triple CSM and going for a Razorback straight away. We have Marco Zinch and one of the CSM already also get an Eternal War. Gives them those Inferno Bolts. Fantastic damage versus all infantry from range. And you might see triple Marco Zinch, which could be a huge mistake if Shemovic knows how to counter it, it's not difficult, just get some artillery or strong melee units. Double assault marines would be great. Jumping in there, supported by a Razorback. Expensive though. We have aspiring champion heretics making them really really nasty in melee but they are getting shotgunned to hell here. And look at the losses, Lytelda not paying attention to these heretics. They might lose the entire squad, only the aspiring champion survives and gets away the scouts had to reload Biospear plague champion chasing the Razorback he's not gonna do a lot of damage though Inferno bolts are doing okay hitting that rear armor 
needs to be careful. This thing is a support vehicle for Space Marines. It allows you to transport and reinforce infantry. Force Commander has his artificial armor, making him a lot tougher. Phileas Discharge, though, again snaring him. No sign of a weapon. Stimovic struggling for resources. And here come those double scouts, and they both have scout sergeants now. Giving them frag grenades. Taking a lot of damage from the plague champion. And there's double frag grenades on those CSM. Get away without a model loss. Plague champion also gets away. 413, 293. Force commander levels as he flees to 2. Also have a level 2 plague champion. Should get a plasma devastator, I think. Stimovic. Light Helder needs to get. A vehicle counter on a field, a proper one. But instead, he is giving Mark of Corn to his last CSM squad. Maybe he thinks the power weapons on rear armor and that melt pistol that the aspiring champion gets will be enough for that Razorback. Librarian now on the way for Stirmovic. 392, 293, and here he is, sub commander for. Space Marines melee unit, good support abilities, but also starts with that dangerous offensive smite. Tactical Marines took out this node. Heretics recap, and they now have their sergeant very nearly level 2. Very dynamic game, both players being quite mobile with their forces. Force Commander stopped by Billy's discharge again. Grenade goes in. Takes out a CSM model. No, he gets back up. Full retreat from Light Elder there, but did not lose a model, so not too bad. 374, 293. Recaps and nodes that power. Librarian on capping duty 2. Razorback on the western side. Now coming center to support. Lytelda still yet to get anything else in tier 2 just has spent all of his resources upgrading these triple CSM which could backfire hugely if he had a dreadnought on the field Lytelda would be screwed right now but he doesn't Mark of Corn CSM are going to be countered quite hard by these double shotgun scouts Tactical Marines now weighing in with Bolt of Fire and a very nice grenade on those Muggle Corn CSM. Losing two models and retreating. Now here come Aspiring Champion Heretics. And finally, we see some Nurgle Worship boosting the health regen of this infantry. Smite goes in on the Heretics, but Librarian then just runs away. Razorback supporting all of this stuff. This Space Marine stuff, anyway. Reinforcing those scouts, as you can see. Force Commander. Needs to get a thunder hammer or something. He's gone for the power fist, in fact. Forcing off heretics, and it's a good thing because Light Elder has a chaos dreadnought on the way. 374, 291. And Stirmovic doesn't have much else to deal with it apart from that power fist. Power fist, such a dangerous melee weapon. Such a good anti vehicle counter as well with flesh over steel. Some good usage of Billius Discharge to try and control this Force Commander by Light Elder. 374, 291, now he's going to bash this power again. Chaos Dreadnought hits the field. Walker Vehicle for Chaos starts off with an Auto Cannon and that Close Combat Claw. Auto Cannon is irrelevant because we have Markov Zinch on the way, which will give hit a Missile Launcher. We'll make short work of that Razorback. Power being hit and I don't think it's going to survive at all. Tactical Marines get into the Razorback. Scouts on capping duty. Kel Space Marines on capping duty on the west side. These are the Mark of Corn guys who lost their aspiring champion to that grenade. Scouts. Can they get away? They can. Level 2. 
and they get out with two models very very lucky 363 291 heretics capping mid then they should be able to complete that cap now we have some devastators on the field getting a las cannon to try and deal with this chaos dreadnought and it doesn't want to stand there it's going to get snared by the las cannon he's trying to take out the razorback and should be able to yes but now this dreadnought is in a huge amount of trouble and is most likely going to go down flesh over steel completely stunning it and last cannon kind of damage and that power fist makes short short work of the dreadnought dreadnought that was not worth it at all like tell dot using a dreadnought to counter a razorback he now has icon of nurgle on his plague champion constant damage to surrounding enemies if they are close enough librarian very very lucky getting a special attack to stop that cap there and forces off the plague champion with his power sword double Marco Zinch CSM pouring in front of bolts into the force commander but he is able to decap and Lytelda again is left with his triple CSM and heretics level 2, level 2, level 2, level 2 heretics, level 3 plague champion level 3 force commander, scouts level 2, tax level 2 more level 2 scouts, level 2 librarian and level 1 devastators 3, 4, 4, 2, 4, 1 that las cannon is now not going to be very useful against all of this infantry some more Nugga worship to support the CSM who could not decap there Devastator setting up covering the center Lytelda I don't think wants to get another vehicle out certainly with this force commander and at last cannon he needs to get some havocs or something because this force commander is now starting to run right Billish Discharge not enough by itself 290, 241, a 2 to 1 cap for Sturmovic and he's going to be able to go tier 3 soon Mark of Corn CSM engaging the wrong thing that was a huge mistake I think double shotgun scouts ouch and grenade on retreat can he finish off these Mark of Corn CSM he can Nicely done by Sturmovic, Lytelda rolling on the floor laughing. I don't think he's actually doing that, as is usually the case. 268241. And look at this map control now for Sturmovic. Lytelda really, really struggling with double CSM. Force Commander runs away and Lytelda trying to force the action and cap mid. Last Cannon having a hard time hitting this infantry. Now the Plague Champion is in pissed off mode with Plague Fist and Armor of Pestilence and the Icon of Nurgle. He's going to be fearsome in combat. Scouts shotgunning the CSM on their ass. 210, 241, Lytelda needs to keep cool here. Not overextend. There is a Noxious Cloud. First one we've seen. Global ability of the Plague Champion. Really nice damage over time in a controllable cloud. There is Pestilent Strike stunning the Force Commander, allowing those CSM to get away, but he's still chasing them. And he's going to start losing models. Special attack there does take out a model can he finish off the squad puts his shield up and I don't think he can almost finished off by the play champion in fact and all of this stuff fleeing from this icon of Nurgle armor of pestilence plague fisted plague champion level 3 this guy now over 1300 hit points level 4 force commander with 1149 GG called by light elder 159241 Heretics cap mid. It's a one to one cap. There's a grenade. 
loads of heretics die and retreat. Now it's just the Faith Champion. He needs to use Pestilent Strike. Turn around and fight the Force Commander. There is Pestilent Strike. Should be able to finish off the Force Commander now. No, here comes something nasty. Terminators, and it's all over for Light Elder. No way he can stand against Terminators and the rest of the stuff. These are Assault Terminators, and there is the Conceit. Very, very strange Light Elder to get triple CSM and give one of the Mark of Corn up against double scouts of shotguns. That Dreadnought was not preserved very well at all, and Stimovic takes it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.